How's it going everyone? A couple of weeks ago, a company reached out to me seeing if I wanted to try out and do a review on a laptop that they came out with. Now this is a company called Apollo Sign. Here's the laptop right here. So at first we'll do like a little uh, show off of it. I just took it out of the box. I never used it yet. Um, and then we'll go over some specs and see how it works once we start it up for the first time. So as you can see, it is a pretty thin laptop. It looks like on this side you have a USB port, you have a little connection for a microphone or a headphone right there, and then you have a TF card reader. If you're not familiar with a TF card reader, it is like a newer version of an SD card. Um, it's a little faster, smaller, um, just has better performance. On this side, it looks like you have your charging port, you have a mini HDMI port, and then you have another USB. Um, so that's good to have those two USBs or if you need an HDMI to hook this to like a TV or something, you have that available as well. And hunting season's coming around. This is actually gonna go to my nephew who just started college, he doesn't have a laptop, but he has a lot of digital cameras in the woods and he always needs a computer that can read a TF card to get those pictures off. Like I said, it is pretty thin. It is pretty light. This is a 15.6 inch laptop. Um, I like the gray finish, kind of has a chrome uh, shiny finish to it. Uh, I like the weight on this, it might be five or six pounds, not too heavy, so you can stick in your backpack or your work bag and carry this around with ease. Now I'm going to start it up, get it set up to the internet and everything because that might take a little while and then we'll look at the specs and go over what it looks like when it's actually powered on. All right, we have the laptop here booted and set up. The setup was really simple. It walks you through step by step. Now if you have a Microsoft account already that is linked to another computer, you can put that email in and it'll carry over like your browser um, history information, some logins and stuff like that. So that makes it pretty easy. Uh, as far as connecting to the internet, it's going to give you a choice what network you want to connect it to, put your password in, and it's set up like that. Now it does come with a trial of like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, things like that. You do need a credit card to sign up for the trial. So that's up to you if you want to sign up for that. And it also comes with a option for Google Storage and Xbox Pass. So that's all up to you if you want to sign up for things like that. The computer or laptop itself comes with a Windows 11, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD drive. So you're going to be loading uh, files pretty fast with that SSD drive and you can extend expand it to one terabyte so it's always good to have that extra storage so you're never you know having to delete things especially if you're somebody big editing photos and videos always good to have that extra storage now the processor you use is called an Intel Jasper processor that goes up to 2.8 gigahertz of speed so if you're doing everyday things it shouldn't lag out at all, have really good uh, performance. Now, you probably can't game on like the newer Call of Duties at high uh, graphics and frames per second. This is not really a gaming laptop. This is more of your everyday laptop, but you can play games on here. It's only three pounds. Now, I thought this was going to be a five pound laptop by holding it but it's actually only three pounds, which is great, like I said, for carrying around for school or work or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It has the 15.6 inch screen and is a HD screen and supports 1920 by 1080 resolution. So all in all, a really good everyday laptop. One other thing I do wanna mention, I showed you all the ports it comes with on the side and it supports the 2.4 or 5.8 gigahertz um, networks for Wi-Fi. So depending on what um, Wi-Fi you have, it can support both of those. Now overall, the only thing that really threw me off, I haven't had a laptop in years, I always use a desktop, is that the mouse pad wasn't centered, but I do believe it is because it added this numbers lock, or not numbers lock, but the number pad on the side, which I don't remember my older laptops having that. But overall, it's really responsive when you're moving everything around. Um, the keys are really responsive. There's no lag with that. So like I said, I would you personally use this laptop for school, for work, typing things out, 
um, editing videos, editing photos, just an everyday laptop, you know, if you have to pay bills, just watching movies, things like that. You could game on it. I could see you playing Fortnite, um, maybe some older games on here, Roblox for kids, things like that. But as far as a gaming web, a gaming laptop where you're going to be playing things like Call of Duty or some of these high graphic newer games, um, it might not perform the best for those. You just got to remember this is not really made for a gaming laptop. But overall, it seems like a really good everyday laptop. Really impressed how it came packaged. No scratches on the screen. No scratches or chips on the outside of it. It has pretty much everything you need to get started to use right out of the box.